Okay, welcome guys back for Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, this is just me going to continue where we last left. Last left off. If you remember, we just finished a sequence. Well, we just finished a memory in the last episode. Uh, assassinated my first target. And now I'm back here. Responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Others least will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right, that's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Uh. Mr. Francesco, I have done as requested. As yeah, I did write it in the last episode. Supposed to lead. Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrolled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held the peace of Eden. His name it's was Altair. Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Vieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Babe, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. All right. Oh, the viewpoint. Okay. Right. I gotta go to the viewpoint. Now I gotta climb this again. But I did the viewpoint anyway, but I need to climb. Climb this again? I should have done it. Well, basically, you know, when the game is turning to. I already. Gotta show this this viewpoint again. Back to four pieces of the cortex. Alright. 
Wait, so how many are there in here? So there's four, so there's one. So no. There's three. Right, there's so, so there's three. That's one. That's another one. All right. Yeah, the reason I'm on milk is because you now I basically went to bed earlier. Like eight. So I had like a couple of hours. Alright, so I've got one more to go and that's like outside. The last one's outside of of this place. So I need to get out of here. Alright, I'm just gonna quickly ride my Get that on the photo of um, thingy and just ride on, on the horse. And my mate has came back on the line. Ezio, will you stop climbing on the horse? And collect the code. Checkpoint reach. The code text pages increases your maximum. What? I didn't have a chance to read, read that. Maximum walk. Alright, so I need to go back. Into town. So I need to go back. Oi, oi! Go and check on. All right, here we go. Let's get off the horse. <laughs> yeah, so this is like... I don't know how, how many parts this will be like all together of the of the game.
Uh, I guess I'll find out how, how, how many episodes I will be doing to the end, end of the game. Because after this one, I got Brotherhood to play. So, yeah, I'll be continuing off with the series. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone would want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. Alright, so chest click click Alright, so I got none in none in the one okay shops Is there something wrong? Yes, sir, Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architect, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? And then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? <laughs> Uncle, I like this architect. He gets very observant when he can spell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Okay. Ah, uh, okay, so let's see. Five percent off purchase. And all right, let's just start with this. Do I have enough to like just do like upgrade everything? All right, I don't have enough for that. Buon viaggio. Alright, so we gotta go back and talk to you. Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. Oh yeah, uh, never basically thinking that, like, got like, these before. This is the sanctuary. It 
It was built by my great grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. All right. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Okay, I need to get that armor. I mean, I never got this armor, but I mean, I, I could. I could get it if I want to. But I have to like work really hard. First in um, what kind of arm uh, and Tory armor levels. Alright. So I've got nothing nothing. And I shop armor. Right, I got that. Don't have enough. Oh well I can't have everything in stock, I suppose. I don't know where that horse comes from, the horse kind of disappeared. Yeah. Alright, uh, where am I uh, off to? Where's this game taking me? Oh, here. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing into 20 minutes and end the episode of the 20 minute uh, market. Okay, 
Okay, so it's in the back. Practice technique in the courtyard. I was going to the courtyard, but then it teleported me. Alright, so first off, that's two, that's one. Someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. A fox. Shh. A pisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the mercato where the thieves dwell. Stand then, to amico. Alright, and I just got money. Alright, so the coaches which is like are on your map, the viewpoints. Alright. So basically I got like There's one one coach over here. Basically um I need to basically at the end of the game I'll just do all the viewpoints and collect 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 all the coach Projects pages. Anyway, guys, if you guys had enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.